Hello, glad to be with you again on Unify Yoski. Your success is our delight. Yeah, I would just like to take us through the planning station into this video. Yeah, for the planning, as we all know, the planning starts from the assessment station. So you need to organize the collected information or data in your assessment station and prepare specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound and therapeutic plan of care. That is what we expected to do. Now, we want to just have a brief look at what heart failure is. Heart failure is simply a physiological state in which the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the body's need. And this can result from either structural or functional impairment. Now let's have a look at the scenario. We are having a heart failure scenario. So we have the candidates paperwork and briefing. Candidate's name, make sure the name is printed on your chat. The scenario says James was admitted to your ward with shortness of breath and diagnosed with heart failure. However, shortness of breath has resolved after intervention. Now, a little brief, we need to always make sure we read the instructions carefully the way you get to your planning station calm down take a deep breath read the instructions carefully so now we are being told based on this question that part of the problem identified during my assessment has been taken care of so if i want to do a planning and i now plan on the problem that has already been taken care of, that would definitely give me a zero score because the instruction says that has been taken care of. So for whatever problem I'm going to plan on, I'm not going to focus on the shortness of breath anymore. So let's move on. It says, based on your nursing assessment, please produce a nursing care plan for two relevant aspects of nursing care suitable for the next 24 hours. As we all know, this is a silent written station. Please ensure that you write clearly and legibly. So this is part of the marking criteria standard for the planning station. You need to write clearly, legibly, and if there's any error, a single strike through will be fine. The allotted time for the station is 14 minutes, and it says you have 14 minutes to complete the station, including all the required documentation. Complete all sections of the care plan, assume it is today, and it is 12 hours. So part of the thing we preach in Unified Oski as regards your planning is when you sit down the first thing documents print your name sign as required write the date before you start writing out your care of plan so it will be painful for somebody to have to go back because you fail to sign or you fail to document your name as required so please just take care of that before doing your care plan now let's move to the pro possible problems that were identified as regards James um, complaint, history taking, uh, shortness of breath or ineffective breathing pattern related to disease condition. And like the question says, that has been taken care of. So I won't plan on this anymore. Another problem was pain with a pain score based on whatever pain score you have in your assessment. Tiredness or activity intolerance related to disease condition 
or you want to go for tiredness related to generalized weakness. Part of the problem during the assessment was sleeplessness related to discomfort. And we have anxiety related to disease condition. And the last one, edema or fluid volume excess related to disease condition. I'll just go for edema for the sake of NMC UK OSCE. That's fine. So my first nursing problem based on this assessment, I'm going for James is experiencing anxiety related to disease condition. And the aim of care is to reduce James level of anxiety. Just make it as simple as you can. So now let's have a look at re-evaluation. So for re-evaluation, it's all about when do you need to do a review on your patient and what's the focus or what's the the point or the focus of the review is to see if your set target or desired outcome is being achieve or not so how soon are you going to reevaluate based on your set out plan based on what outcome you desire to see based on your plan of care for this patient so how soon do you want to reevaluate and see oh are we able to meet this target what else needs to be done so that's what reevaluation is all about so i will be going for James will be re-evaluated today, the date of my exam. For example, 2309-23, every eight hourly or as clinical condition changes. That's my re-evaluation plan based on anxiety. Now let's move to a matzerid. It's just a mnemonic to help you cover all the needed points in your planning. So I will explain this course and gain consent from James for all aspects of care. I will monitor James' full set of observation and escalate as per news policy, assist James with activities of daily living, teach James on diversional therapy, deep breathing exercise. No, that can be helpful as well. Administer James prescribed medication and monitor for effectiveness and side effects. For the hour, refer James to psychotherapist with his consent. I instruct James on the use of call bell. And for the D, documents all care rendered to James. Now, to the second nursing problem, I want to go for James is presenting with edema related to disease condition. And the aim of care will be to reduce James' edema. And if you want to go with to relieve James of edema, that's fine as well. So my re-evaluation date will be to be re-evaluated today in brackets, the date of my exam. For example, 2309-23, every eight hours or as soon as clinical condition changes. Now, let's move to a matter read, my intervention. And for the E, explain, discuss, and gain consent from James for all aspects of care. For the M, monitor James' full set of observation and escalate as per news policy. Monitor James' intake and outputs, assist James with activities of daily living, teach James to elevate fit, you know, that will help to relieve the edema. Administer prescribed medication and monitor for effectiveness and side effects. Refer James to physiotherapist or occupational therapist. Add failure nurse as well which is consent for further plan of care. And I instruct on the use of call bell for the D 
ensure you document all plan of care. And lastly, don't forget, document, sign and date. And thank you for watching. And that is all we have for you at Sagat's The Planning Station. All the best.